All right, so last but not least, this episode's TikTok liberal is a girl that is talking about her gender fluidity. Here are some examples of my gender fluidity being a little bitch. Number one, feeling like a guy and visiting my relatives. I don't know if you know this, but I am not out to my family. Therefore, when I'm feeling like a guy, but I have to present super feminine in front of my relatives, it makes me feel icky inside. Also, gender dysphoria is a bit. Number two, when suddenly my gender decides to change right before bed. I'll just be vibing and then it'll be like binder time. No, Michael, it's not binder time. It's bedtime. Binder time. Number three, in the freaking middle of the day. I'll be walking all happily along and then suddenly boom, gender change. No, no, no. Now is not the time, Michael. I have a day to run. I don't need this dysphoria right now. Most of the time, I won't have the resources or capabilities to reduce the gender dysphoria because I didn't bring along with me a hat or a binder or makeup if it's the other way around. So it's a bitch. It's a real bitch. So in case you're wondering exactly what is she talking about? What is this gender fluid thing? What, what is she getting at? What they basically believe in this situation is that your gender can change and fluctuate throughout the day. Maybe it's a different one every day. Maybe it could be every 30 minutes. It doesn't really have any rhyme or rule uh, around it at all, but that's basically what they are saying here when they're talking about changing their gender around and whatnot. But to be honest with you, when I was watching this video for the first time, my first thought kind of went to the idea that this lady must be a schizophrenic because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like she's having these battles internally with herself, and it sounds like maybe she's just schizophrenic i don't know or bipolar or something it, it doesn't sound like somebody that's dealing with all of these gender issues now uh, many people aren't kind of caught up on the lingo of the of the new woke genders and and different uh ways in which they achieve these things so she's uh, a few people were asking before about what she means by binder time what, what is she talking about when she says binder time okay what she's talking about is a binder or a set of uh, usually some type of wraps that you can uh, buy online that go around uh, presumably a woman's chest to make her chest resemble that of a guy. So a flat chest, basically. This is a problem, okay? Not only for the the idea behind it, but it's a problem for health reasons as well. And uh, if you haven't read the book, if you can stomach it, I highly recommend that you read the book Irreversible Damage uh, by uh, Abigail Schreier. Extremely, extremely good book. Going into all the details about how transgender girls try to do this using the binders and, and all the medical evidence that has been shown that uh, how that can actually irreversibly damage you, right? And damage your body in that way. But that's what she's talking about it is this idea of I'm out and about as a girl and then all of a sudden... I feel like I need to put on these things, to put on the binder, to put on this hat, to to put on things that make me look more like a guy. And then sometimes I feel like I need to get rid of these things. Or maybe when I go to bed, I feel like to sleep, I must be in this guy character. I must be in this, this different form. So I'm going to put on these superficial things to feel that way. And if I feel like a woman, I'm going to then put on makeup to then feel more like a woman. But notice the problem. I just showed a TikTok on the last episode talking about this guy saying there's more than one gender or more than two genders. So how does this work? I mean, I mean she's not bouncing between she, him, and shim, something in the middle, right? She's going between male and female. She's basically confirming that there's only two genders in this in and of itself, which once again just shows how mixed up this entire uh, this entire field is the fact that they, people even still go along with this just blows my mind because a lot of people, maybe they can make sense out of gay or lesbian or whatever. And maybe, and yeah, and they'll probably think, okay, the transgender thing's too far, but all of these people flow into the same thing. It's all a part of the same kind of LGBTQ plus AARP. Like it just goes on. They're, they're all a part of this thing and, and they all are attributed in there. And the gender fluid people are in this as well. They will be entirely respected amongst these, this, this alphabet community because they feel like it's a part of this. But what this is really about to me uh, is multiple fold, but it's about these people trying to be a victim. It's about them doing everything they can to be different and having struggles they're looking for struggles tell me what you think by the sound of her voice by the look on her face did it look like she was struggling 
Or did it look like she couldn't be more excited to tell you about her problems? Because to me, it looked like she was very excited to talk about her problems. We live in a culture where people legitimately want to be victimized. They want to be different. They want to have struggles. So they make them up. Even if something is stupid as I'm a male one hour and then the next few minutes I'm a female. That's what this is kind of divulged into. They, they attribute femininity with makeup. It, it just is really, really uh, kind of stereotypically stupid as well. But the thing is, is that really what this kind of makes me think of is just the idea of a bunch of mental health issues that have been significantly on the rise over the past 15, 10, 15 years or so amongst young adults. Now, maybe this is an issue with parenting. Maybe it's an issue with uh, the school system or I, I think it's multifaceted. But what you're seeing more than ever before is that more young adults are identifying as having some kind of mental issues. And what do the parents typically do? They stuff them full of drugs and say, go about your merry way. And that's where you end up with this problem where a lot of these uh, these teens, these young adults are just out there, tr they want to be a part of it. They want to have these mental issues because then they can talk about their victim status with their friends. They can make TikToks about it. I mean, also, that has to be a concern too, is that are these people just doing it for attention, right? Something that maybe they didn't get from their parents, so they have to do this and go on TikTok and amass followers based off of not your brain, not off of your knowledge, not off of how funny you are, but off of your victim status. That's what all these TikToks have generally been. Look at how much of a victim I am while I go on about this for 10, 15 minutes. So that, that's basically what you're seeing here. But ultimately, uh, once again, it's, it's a sad day when mental issues are being hyped up in our society to the point that people want to be involved in it, that people want to be a victim. They want to have problems. They want to be identifying in weird ways. They want it to be the case. Make no mistake, they don't want to be normal because normal means they're not very popular. And that scares the living daylights out of anybody that's young in today's day and age is not being popular, not having uh, a bunch of people that look to them and, and, and are so excited about them being around them and being friends with them. That's the difference that we have in our society today and it absolutely must change. Unfortunately, I think it's so far gone that it would take an extremely long period of time for anything to really uh, culminate out of that. So it may wind up being years till we see a recovery of the situation, but for a recovery to happen, people must realize the problems that are going on right now on TikTok with these people and these uh, young adults who seriously need uh, Jesus and a lot of better parenting involved as well. You just watched a clip from The William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.